AP Bio Unit 1 Chemistry of Life Water is a polar molecule, and because of that polarity, it forms hydrogen bonds. These hydrogen bonds are weak intermolecular forces, but they are incredibly important. Thanks to hydrogen bonding, water acts as a universal solvent. Hydrogen bonds also give water several key properties. These are cohesion, adhesion, surface tension, and a high specific heat. These properties explain why water behaves the way it does in living systems. Hydrogen bonds aren't just limited to water. You'll find them all over biology, holding DNA strands together, giving RNA its shape, and helping proteins fold into their functional shapes. The molecules of life are built from smaller units called monomers, which link together to form polymers. The process of building polymers from monomers is called dehydration synthesis. You remove water to form a bond. To break polymers back into their monomers, you use hydrolysis, which adds water. Carbohydrates are primarily used for energy and structure. Their monomers are monosaccharides, like glucose, which store quick energy. Disaccharides are often used for energy transport, while polysaccharides can either store energy, like starch, or provide structure, like cellulose in plant cell walls. Lipids are nonpolar molecules, and their basic unit is the fatty acid. These can be saturated, which makes them solid, or unsaturated, which creates kinks in the chains and makes them more liquid. Lipids have many roles. Long-term energy storage in fats and oils, waterproofing in waxes, membrane formation in phospholipids, and signaling in steroids are just a couple of examples. Phospholipids are especially important because they are amphipathic. They have a hydrophilic, water-loving head, and a hydrophobic, water-fearing tail. When placed in water, they naturally form a bilayer, which is the basis of all cell membranes. Proteins are the most diverse biological molecules, with functions ranging from movement, like muscle fibers, to transport, structure, signaling, storage, and even catalyzing reactions through enzymes. Their monomers are amino acids, which all have an amino group, a carboxyl group, and a variable side chain called the R group. The R group determines the chemical properties of each amino acid. Proteins have four levels of structure. The primary structure is just the amino acid sequence. The secondary structure forms alpha helices and beta sheets through hydrogen bonding. The tertiary structure results from interactions between R groups, like hydrogen bonds, ionic bonds, hydrophobic interactions, and sometimes covalent bonds like disulfide bridges. Finally, the quaternary structure occurs when multiple polypeptide chains come together to form a functional protein. Nucleic acids are the molecules of heredity. DNA stores genetic information in cells, while RNA plays multiple roles, sometimes as hereditary material in viruses, but more often as an information carrier, or even as a catalyst in ribosomes and spliceosomes. The monomers of nucleic acids are nucleotides, each made of five carbon sugar in a triogenous space and a phosphate group. DNA and RNA differ slightly. DNA contains deoxyribose, while RNA has ribose. Their nitrogenous bases also differ. DNA contains A, T, C, G, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, while RNA has the same adenine cytosine, and guanine, but the thymine is replaced with uracil. DNA is famously double-stranded, forming a double helix. The two strands are held together by hydrogen bonds between complementary bases A pairs with T and C pairs with G. DNA also has an anti-parallel structure, meaning one strand runs from 5' prime to 3' prime, and the other runs from 3' prime to 5'. Prime. That closes out Unit 1. Topics 1.1 to 1.3, the chemistry of life and the molecules that make it possible. If you need any help, just let me know in the comments down below. And if you would like to keep on receiving these quick reviews, please let me know by clicking the subscribe button and liking the video. Thank you very much.